What a great privilege to be alive once again, to be part of Dope Television on this exciting edition of Healthy Living. My name is Olua Femi Yodunton. Thank God. Always thank God. This is a program that's always dear to us in our hearts, just to talk about our health. Always here to educate us about our health, to let us have one or two understanding of things to do, what to eat, what exercises to do, uh, what fruits to eat that will make your body look good and keep fit. We do this and many more of the topics we come on this platform to discuss on healthy living. We may have a special guest here with us. Remember our last edition, we, we brought a clinical psychologist into the house and we talked about issues affecting us generally as individuals. Today we'll be looking at um, a disease, and uh, but before we talk about this disease, I'd like to introduce our guest to us. Uh, Dr. Chris Williams is here with us. He's always talking about the natural, the natural way to go, natural food to eat, exercises to stick with, uh, multivitamins to take in order for our body to look good and to keep fit. We have Dr. Chris Williams in the house with us. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us on this program. Thank you. For everyone that's been part of Dove Television, Dove Television is on all social network, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, get to watch exciting and interesting program on YouTube. A click button, you get to watch our Father and the Lord, the general of the sea of the redeemed Christian Church of God, and all other anointed men of God on our platform. Be part of Dove Television family, and God bless you and keep your family safe. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I would like uh, Dr. Chris Williams to please lead us in a short prayer as we proceed on today's topic. Thank you, sir. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for 2019. Thank you for the opportunity of being alive in this dispensation. We thank you for healthy living. Thank you for conserving this program for us. We thank you for today's topic. We thank you for your people because your plan for us is health. We ask that you position somebody's heart to really receive this morning Amen. so that the devil will further lose the battle in our lives. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir, for that Thank prayers. You. All right, we'll be looking at um, a disease that has to do with our memory. That's the old Zima disease. This um, kind of disease has to do with memory loss. And um, part of what Dr. Chris said before we came on this platform was the story of an elderly woman yes, a woman that left in, the in house. Town. Mm. She went to me in the night, mm. and then she just walked away mm. the, uh, until ab ab about midday before somebody saw her in the next village. She was trying to return back to her room just from the backyard and she walked to the next village. She was sitting in the middle of the road telling people, I don't know where I'm going again. Mm. That's Alzheimer's disease. Okay. I read something about Alzheimer's disease. It says the progressive disease that destroys memory yes. and other important mental functions. Yes, yes. I think viewers should pay attention to mm. what Dr. Chris is about mm. to say on today's program on healthy living on Dove yeah. Television. This is a disease that concerns everybody. And I asked a question earlier. I said, does this affect uh, teenagers, youth? And you said gradually. Is that mm. coming? Yeah, it, it can affect, but especially if the person had an head injury or something. Wow. But usually it's more amongst the uh, aging people. Mm. Okay, so Alzheimer's disease is a progressive um, disease that causes um, wasting, degeneration, and dying mm. of brain cells. Okay, okay, it's um, res it's responsible for about seventy percent cases of uh, memory loss. Okay, and then um, by way of summary, because we we'll still talk about it more elaborately, the the person will be having issues with memory. Early signs, the person will keep keys somewhere. Mm -hmm. They will be looking for it. They go inside the room to pick something. They get there. They forget. And then they come back and then they remember again. So this, this person keeps forgetting recent events and recent activities. But as it progresses, as it progresses, it can really become bad. Like this woman, the, you will not be able to uh, recognize your house. Some mm -hmm. people even get to the point where they can't recognize 
their family members, their children, their spouse, they cannot recognize them. So trouble with memory is um, something that stands out mm -hmm. in Alzheimer's disease, uh, mm -hmm. early signs. Somebody will begin to repeat statements, they will repeat questions, you are discussing with somebody and you have told them something maybe in the, next, in the last few minutes. And then before you know it, they are saying, asking questions about the same thing. It, mm. may be an, it may be an early sign. Mm. It may be an early, it's not every time that somebody is having uh, f signs of forgetfulness that it is dementia, it is uh, Alzheimer's disease. Mm. But Alzheimer's disease accounts uh, for about 60 to 70 percent cases of forgetfulness. Okay, it, it can take years to develop from when it starts to when it really becomes severe. It can take 20, sometimes 30 years. Okay, so it, it, the reason we are discussing it this morning is uh, it's, it's easier meat in the board than um, when it has progressed. Mm. Uh, okay, so um, there's the repeat statements and questions, they forget conversations and appointments, and then they will remember after the appointment has passed, um, they, they misplace their things. Uh, somebody can just wake up in the morning and start looking for their phone. Hmm. And um, what happened? What happened is that last night before they, they went to bed, they placed their phone maybe in the in the in the whatever in the kitchen hmm. or in the place where they usually keep Gary or something. Uh, you know, um, it's it's out of place to take your phone and keep it in the bucket where you keep your Gary. So this, it, it, it happens like that because they also have uh, judgment issues. They get lost in familiar places, mm. uh, like um, the woman we talked about. They forget the names of family members, we've talked about it. And then they have trouble finding the right words to identify mm. um, objects or to, uh, to explain themselves. Mm. Okay, when you are seeing these signs, it means the um, maybe uh, the person is developing Alzheimer's disease. There are sev seven stages. We'll not be able to go into discussing the seven stages, but um, um, usually over time it will be progressing. Mm -hmm. Little little forgetfulness. It begins. It becomes something really noticeable mm -hmm. until people are able to notice it. The person is the the sufferer is the first person to notice. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, he's trying to recall this neighbor's name and then all of a sudden okay, he okay. has forgotten mm. they also have thinking and reasoning problems okay. because they have problems difficult they have difficulty in concentrating they are not able to concentrate or focus so multitasking is a big issue for them wow. all right somebody who used to drive drive excellently well after some time they begin to have little little accidents here and there mm. because of misjudgments you, you, you know the trouble concentrating okay they also have uh, troubles making judgments and decision mm. uh, and this is very important so you you see somebody all of a sudden they begin to dress anyhow somebody who used to be a power de dresser before all of a sudden, they begin to match colors that are not the same. They begin to wear clothes to occasions that are out of place. Somebody is going for an official um, occasion and then is dressed casual. Is and also people will notice it. Okay, so that's uh, Alzheimer's. Disease. They also have changes in personality and behavior. Okay, so it can lead to depression. It can lead to apathy. Apathy means withdrawal. Mm -hmm. The okay. person is staying all by themselves. They don't want to mingle. They don't want to be uh, yes to mingle. Social withdrawal. It can lead to mood swings. They can. It can even lead to distrust in others. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, for instance, some of them will because. They, they can begin to distrust their partners, their, they, even their children. They can begin to do, uh, suffer delusion and think that people are about to hurt them. Okay, it can uh, uh, also part of the the changes in personality is irritability and aggression. You find that this person is unusually irritable. They get they snap easily, mm -hmm. and the person, somebody who was before now very gentle, very tolerable, they mm -hmm. become so intolerable mm -hmm. and aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, um, these are things. Somebody called me recently and they had listened to one of the episodes mm. um, where I shared how that a friend of mine, his wife began to, you know, beat 
troublesome fight with neighbors, fight in the street, do all kinds of things. And initially, he was trying to counsel the wife, take the wife to counseling places. But eventually, over three, four years, um, it turned out to be that the woman was suffering mental illness. Okay, sometimes problems in the mind can start with irritability and aggression, okay? And then the person may even lose inhibition. Somebody who had character before, who never uh, uh, would get involved in sexual immorality or stealing or something like that. All of a sudden, they begin to do all sorts of things. Um, the story goes about a, a prominent uh, monarch around the world, the, the mother of a prominent monarch around the world, who uh, would go into stores supermarkets and then steal things. I mean, if that kind of woman, if she could buy up that old store if she wanted, mm. but then she would take things and put it in the pocket and it became really very embarrassing such that um, they have to man her everywhere she goes. They have to man her so that she will not dis bring disgrace to the family. Mm. It, it's a, such things and manifestations can be a manifestation of Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. However, in all this, it, there are some skills that will be preserved. Mm -hmm. Maybe skills like reading, the person will be able to read. Even though after some time, they, they may lose that ability. What are the causes? Mm. What are the causes of Alzheimer's disease? Damaging of neurons. Neurons are brain cells. And then the neurons get damaged, and then also the 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 messenger chemicals, acetylcholine. Okay. This is how neurons connect with each other. If this is one neuron and this is another neuron, they connect like this through something called a synapse. Okay. So after some time, this neuron is damaged, the synapse is damaged, the, this neuron is damaged, and then it will be progressing in the brain. Wow. Okay. There's also there's a chemical that goes from this neuron to this neuron. Neurons are brain cells. Mm. They are called acetylcholine. Also, anything that can reduce acetylcholine in the body. Um, um, can also um, give rise or mimic mm -hmm. Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. There are risk factors that make people uh, predisposed to it. Age is one of them. As people begin to age, especially mm -hmm. when they are 50 and above, they begin to have these issues. Family history. If there has been somebody in your family who suffered it, you can also um, fall victim, victim of it. Okay? Um, it is more common in women than in men. Uh, so, um, being a woman is a risk factor. Okay, past head injury. Somebody who has suffered head injury or maybe a boxer used to receive a lot of blows to the brain can also lead to it. Poor sleep patterns. Poor sleep patterns. Somebody can't sleep well. They are not sleeping well. They, they, they stop sleeping anyhow. They, they rob themselves of sleeping anyhow. Because sleeping preserves your brain. Mm -hmm. When you don't sleep and you don't sleep and you do it a, a lot, um, you are damaging your brain one mm -hmm. way or the other. Um, lack of heart health. Okay. In other words, if you get, you, you indulge in things that, that, do not conserve your your health. By that I mean things like exercise. Mm. Uh, you, you are not exercising regularly. It can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Mm. Smoking can lead to it. Obesity can lead to it. Hypertension can lead to it. High cholesterol in the blood can lead to real it. And then when diabetes, especially type two, is not controlled very well, it can also lead to it. Now the question will be, what? should we do in mm. order to prevent it. Oh, uh, Alzheimer's disease is one, you know, I usually say that all diseases are reversible. Alzheimer's disease is one of the diseases that is very, very, very difficult to reverse. Mm. Okay? But um, it can, you, you, you can um, prevent it. Mm. And number two, you can also slow down its progression. Mm. It's important. You can prevent it and you can and also slow down. slow down its progression. Like I said earlier, progression can take anywhere between 20 to 30 years wow. or even more. You can, mm. It can be slowed down by lifestyle changes. Okay. So what are the lifestyle changes? Let's start with the ones we just mentioned now. If you are obese, work on it. I've often said it on this show. Don't be obese and be enjoying it. 
obesity robs you of many things and damages your health yeah. in many ways okay if you are smoking stay away from it if you have high blood pressure you need to deal with it high blood pressure can predispose to alzheimer's disease if mm -hmm. you are diabetic you need to deal with it you need to handle it don't be diabetic and be enjoying it mm -hmm. you need to deal with it high cholesterol should be dealt with okay and then exercise exercise is important i've often said it anybody who doesn't take exercise seriously, seriously. is not taking his health seriously quit mm -hmm. smoking manage high, high blood pressure and then of course come back to eating life uh, diet mm -hmm. you must make sure take time not to destroy your bodies your your body through through uh, toxins mm. in the body eat mm. right eat a lot of fresh vegetables eat plant-based diets okay uh, eat plant-based diets uh, quit eating wheat and and any food that's associated with wheat mm. okay and then um the herbs the the the, the supplements and the herbs okay before that get into the habit of drinking at least one liter of blended vegetables on a daily basis on it's, a daily it's basis. very important mm. it does a whole lot of uh, good to your body it preserves all faculties literally of your body okay so um what are the herbs and supplements mm. okay um there, there are octodos um um octodos um drugs that they also prescribe for what for Alzheimer's, but mm. we can't mention them here, mm. and it's not in our place. We choose to focus on natural approach. What are the herbs? Mm. You are talking. You, you, you are an ashwagandha fan. Ashwagandha and turmeric. Yes. Okay. Incidental. Those two are very powerful mm. in in, um, in in managing Alzheimer's disease. Ashwagandha, wow. turmeric, go to cola, lemon balm. Ginkgo by Loba, uh, Rhodiola, Ginseng. Don't they have okay. local names? Because okay. so many times I've mm. seen people complain to me, ah, uh, Madam, healthy living, please. Do, do, do you have local names for all these things that Dr. Chris keep calling? I say, okay, you know what? No, no, I will give you his no, number. No. <laughs> well, they, they also call me. Mm. And in, in time past, I've not been able to help much. But I, I'm doing a training right now. Wow, that Beautiful. will help me answer your questions. Okay, to okay. those local and, names. And some of these are not local actually, mm. so they don't really have local names. But there are there are local versions of, it. of these things that can help. Mm. I'm taking a a, a four month course wow. on on local herbs. Mm. So because we also have things around here that can, that also can help. Us. help. Okay, so what are the other supplements? Uh, pantotenic acid is vitamin B5. Mm. It, it's very powerful. Taking, you don't joke with taking vitamin B complex, especially high strength fortified vitamin B complex. Mm. Uh, each uh, individual should take at least two tablets of vitamin B complex on a daily basis. Okay, there's a herb that's very, very good. Two herbs particularly. There's Upa, Upa Zen A and then also um, galantamine. The, these are things that... Can you give we, that to we, children? We, we can. These are not things you use to just um, make somebody be more intelligent. Okay. They, they are things you use to manage Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's yeah. If you really wanted to help somebody's brain to be sharper, you can stick with ginkgo biloba. Mm. Ginkgo, the, that's what they call Ogunisoy in, in Yoruba. It helps to to boost uh, your memory. memory. Okay, so other things that can boost memory, that can help Alzheimer's is the person needs to be on vitamin D3, the person needs to be on uh, omega-3 uh, mm. or, or fish oil, any of them. Okay. The person needs to be on them. The person needs to be on an alpha lipoic acid and then n acetyl mm. So that's in a summary is Alzheimer's disease. Mm, 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 mm. So you, you said at, yes. at what age now, I want to take you back now, mm. you said from when one is growing up and getting to a certain mm. age. So let, let's... Once let's, you are 30, you should be concerned about your mental health. Once you're 30... Mm. You should be concerned. 
you, you know, you, you part of what you read, you didn't mm -hmm. read it in the show before we came on, yes. is that 1.5 million new cases. Yes, 1.5 in Nigeria. Um, are, are diagnosed in Nigeria yearly. That's yearly. a lot. Mm. How many are we that? 1.5 million. Day, yes, on a yearly. That That's just Alzheimer's. So. Mm. Uh, we are not talking about schizophrenia. Mm. I, I, uh, after, I think they, sh on, uh, my, uh, they show family health mm. i think they had um, schizophrenia on mm. on on, on uh, monday mm. Femi, mm. come and see calls people that call yes tell you. my uh, the the producer said wow he didn't know that people had issues like this mm. so and you know the environment the harshness the hostility the difficulty so you need, if you are watching, you need to be mindful of your mental health. Mm. You need it. So mm. part of it is eat right. Eat like we have been encouraging you to eat. One, more than 1.5 million cases per year. Mm. More than 1.5 million cases Can per you year imagine? in Nigeria. Of Alzheimer's, like Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer disease. Alzheimer's We've not talked about cases of depression. We've not talked about cases of schizophrenia. We've not talked about cases of other um, uh, 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 psychosis. Mm. Uh, you know, and um, 1.5, that's crazy. Too that's much. literally about 1% mm. of the, the, yes, if I'm correct, yes, about 1% there about, of the population being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease on a yearly basis. Mm. And this is not something that uh, you just start to train it today and it will go. Mm. You, you know, it's so something how long does it take? manage over a long time. Mm. More appropriately put, it's mm. better to prevent it or to make sure you are working hard at it in order to to slow down its progression. progression. Okay, mm -hmm. if we are able to get it early, we, it can be it can be reversed. But it's easier said than done. Many mm -hmm. practitioners will tell you that they will say no, 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 it can be reversed. But if we, I'm, I, I know that if we are able to catch it early, that's why I went through all the early signs. If somebody can live a life free of Alzheimer's disease. Mm. Mm. So you, do, you, you go into the house to pick your key, then you forget. Then you come back. As you are going out again, then you remember again. Don't joke with that. In that don't joke with shoes. it. Don't joke with so it. Many times too, it, 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 it's, to it's me. a sign that uh, you should mm. not take lying low. Mm. Especially if it's happening, maybe it happens once a day, it happens every other day. Mm. You, you should not take it lying low. Part mm. of it is stress. So that's why you must deal with stress. Mm. You must deal with stress. Stress is sent to kill, to steal, and, and to, to destroy. destroy. Mm. <laughs> Just it like is. the devil is sent. Yes, it <laughs> is. It's, it's, stress <laughs> is a very potent tool in the hands of the enemy to destroy anybody's health. Mm. So it's something that needs to be dealt with. Stress can lead rest to Rest when you mm. have to rest. Mm. Recreate when you must recreate. Um, just look for something. Yeah, live life at your pace. Mm. Some of us live life at other people's paces. Don't do that. Live life at your pace. There, some persons are more energetic, more driven than others. Mm. Okay, you must not compare yourself. Mm. Okay, Bible says that they compare themselves with themselves mm. are not wise. Mm. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, someone just sent in text. In Alsa, Okay, Ashwa Ganda. Someone is asking same name. That is the same name in Alsa. Please, should children be given soya milk? No, That's no, 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 no. No, don't do soya milk. Not even for adults. Mm. Soya is, um, it has some estrogen-like substances mm. that can um, position somebody mm. for cancer in the future. Soya milk? Yes. Especially wow. a woman. Soya milk? Yes, yes, soya. Okay, please, mm. can you repeat that soya statement again? Soya has some estrogen-like uh, substances. Estrogen like the like substances that mimic estrogen, estrogenic substances okay. that can position a woman for breast cancer later in life. Oh, so, so don't do so. Yeah. Do that. other milks, do tiger nut, do coconut milk, do almond milk, do mm. rice milk, but mm. don't do soya milk. Don't do soya mm. milk. All right, that's a lesson for everyone watching us on this program. And if you're a lady, if you're a woman out there, please don't do soya milk. Mm. That's what Dr. Chris is saying. 
Uh, it has something to do with um, cancer. Right? It, it has estrogen mimicking mm. substances. Wow. So we mm. just have to take precaution and get that to mm. understand this. That's why I said this program is always good to enlighten people. We have different doctors mm. coming uh, from different experts, different fields coming to talk on this platform. This is one major platform that um, we get free information and um, I want to say this to everyone watching us on healthy living if you are out there and God has laid it in your heart you have a program you want to sponsor uh, you've seen any of our program you want to sponsor or you have a product you want to advertise on Dove television mm. this is the high time this is the right time mm. 2019 is mm. the right time for you to yeah. bring your product in uh, yeah. for sponsorship and advert there's a number scrolling which you can call to play your advert mm. on any of our program, mm. healthy living, uh, chat line, um, living couple, program you've seen and um, you really picked interest in it and you want to just place advert on it, please feel free to call the number scrolling right there on your TV screen. Call the number and tell us, okay, I have a product and I want to place an advert. Or uh, you're a pharmacist, you're a doctor, you have one or two things and you want to pass it across to us. Please kindly call the number scrolling right now on your TV screen. Call the number or send a message and of course we'll have you as a family. You're welcome mm -hmm. for sponsorship and advert. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, um, at this point, uh, Doctor, you've given us so much information yes. and uh, we want to go on a quick break mm -hmm. because I know a lot of people are just waiting to call um, to call us and to ask us questions, questions yes. about this Alzheimer's disease. If you have anyone having this difficulty, it might just be you. Like I told doctor once in a while, I do. Sometimes I'll go into the house, ah, I remembered something new, and I'll come back. Maybe while I'm, I'm, I'm in the office, that's when I'll like, <laughs> oh, why did I remember to do this? You know, and uh, it's just once in a while it comes. Now that you said, mm. from once you're 30, mm. you should start watching your watch, what you eat. Yes. You know, you have to take your health seriously. So we'll go on a quick break. When we'll come back, it's high time to pick up your phone and dial the number display right down your TV screen. Pick up your phone or send us an SMS. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Thank you. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact to your miracle. more vegetables eat rice that's our slogan on this program healthy living avoid junk foods avoid foods that will
pile up at the end of the day, you start having one sickness or one disease or the other. Yes, it's good to relax and it's good to take time off from that work of yours that is always taking your time. Stress is not a good thing, so let's just avoid all of the things that will stress us or stress our life. Once again, welcome to Healthy Living, a program that's always there to us on Dove Television, always giving out information on what to eat, what um, diet to stick with, what medication to use, what exercises to do in order for you to keep fit and to always be in good shape. We have Dr. Chris Williams in the house with us, who is always talking about going natural. The natural way to take vegetables, blend vegetables, your cucumber, your carrots, ugu, turmeric, uh, ashwagandha, all of those things. Exercise when you're expectant as a woman, yes. Ashwagandha and turmeric. We've said this on this program. A program that, uh, that, that was one of our edition we did on fertility. Mm. And I said, a lady I spoke with was a white lady, lady that, um, that is doing research when it comes to fertility. Mm. That's what her line is. And he said, he told people, anxiety kills a lot. A lot of us are anxious. Once you are married, ah, you want to get pregnant. You want to get pregnant. Mm. Take it off your mind. Turmeric and ashwagandha. Pray to God. Relax. Feel free. Definitely, it will come. Even when you did not even expect it, mm -hmm. that's when you, it will mm -hmm. come. So relax your mind and find the things that makes you happy, makes you excited. This is 2019. We just have to change all manner of things. Mm -hmm. And thank God this fasting is starting very soon. Mm -hmm. Very, very soon. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. what will also help us yeah. to keep uh, looking younger. When you fast, you lose some things. <laughs> Excess baggage. Yeah, I'm telling and you. And, tell, and before you lose those, you too, you have to lose your mind. Free your mind. All those hatred, bitterness, take it off your mind. Release your mind. Welcome the fresh hair coming 2019. Amen. See yourself swimming in God's glory. Amen. Swimming in the vegetables, Amen. you know, all those natural things. Swimming in health. Health, good health. Yes. That's what we pray for. All right, thank you so much. Now, please, you can call us, uh, dial the number right there, displaying on your TV screen. But remember to mute the volume so that we can hear you loud and clear. If you have a question, you can call us or send us an SMS. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, hello. Good morning. Thank you for calling, sir. Please go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay, actually, this is uh, Temitokwe Fred. I'm calling from uh, Lagos. All right, uh, Mr. Temitokwe, go ahead with your question. Thank you. Yeah, I want I want to ask uh, the doctor: Is there any difference between the Ozama uh, disease of uh, Utokia and the other disease you gave that is calling this morning and Pakistan? Now that is one, two. My second question is: this. How can we get the doctor number? That is. You will get doctor's number. Let me answer your que second question. Before the end of this program, we'll always scroll Dr. Chris Williams' number and his email. Sometimes, Dr. Chris prefer, most times, he prefer you sending an SMS and tell him if this... Um, or WhatsApp. Or WhatsApp, message on WhatsApp. Yes, a message on WhatsApp. Dr. Chris, Dr. Chris, attend to this message. It is urgent. I need to speak with you. Call back. You know, just send him something and he will do I that. even send his requests, your and complaints, send requests and all that. Complaints yes. and, and all that too. He will reply. Don't yeah. worry. Just give him time. This is 2019. Yeah. I will deal with him. Don't worry. <laughs> so there's a difference between it's Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And, yes. But they are, um, let's just say they are sibling, sibling diseases. They are in the same family. Okay, but there's a, a, a big difference between Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. In, in Parkinson's, the person will have slow in motor movements. Uh, um, that the, 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 the person will not be able to move freely. You see them walking very, uh, as if to say they are walking in a slow motion. It's, they have a gait we call this shuffling gait. Okay, that's how classically you you recognize Parkinson's disease. The person will be having um, stiffness of the joints and all that, especially at some part particular times of the day. So there's a difference. Okay, doctor, please. I want us to be as fast as possible okay. to answer some Plenty of our of questions. questions. Yes. Yes. Uh, please. What can I do to reduce my stomach after delivery? True CS Gladys from Portacourt. She also sent in and I may say, please adding soya beans to my baby's pap. Is it okay after six months ex exclusive breastfeeding? Good, mo uh, good morning, great people of God. You, you can add the soya beans, but we told you, especially when the child has grown, 
mm -hmm. um, remove soya beans from their food. Mm -hmm. um, your uh, tummy exercises, do tummy exercises, do sit-ups as you also remove fats and animal proteins from your food. You do exercise, do other exercises, but do sit-ups. It will help you with abdominal fat. All right. Hello, doctor. Uh, can a child of seven-year-old suffer Alzheimer's disease? A daughter of seven years can't assimilate easily, can't mm. read. She forgets what she's taught easily. Mm. She's too slow in learning. Maybe it, it may be another cause of memory, of dementia, of memory loss. Okay. Um, there are other causes. Alzheimer's is not the only cause. Okay, but um, if we make contact, we may be able to help that child. Okay. Okay, yes. Please, you get Dr. Chris's number, scroll right there. Um, hello, sir. Please, doctor, my family and I take soya beans with mm. pap. Is that okay? Is we, it healthy? We, we said no. Look for some other things to eat. Leave soya alone. Okay. Is turmeric good for pregnant women? Uh, uh, turmeric anti-inflammatory. Even if you want to do it, don't do it too much. Okay? Do not do it too much. But... Um, it's nothing that will hurt your baby badly. Okay. Mm. Okay. Is Alzheimer or Alzheimer disease mm. a progressive form of dementia? Yeah. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Uh, someone is asking what is ashwagandha. It's yeah. a herb. It's a herb. And it helps to increase the supply of acetylcholine in the brain, amongst many other things. Okay, first from Asaba is asking, is beetroot a good fruit for a woman to consume based on estrogen content? Beetroot is good. Okay, it is bad to refrigerate carbonated juice. Don't even do carbonated drinks. Don't do them. That's soft drinks. Do not do them at all. Remove them from your food. Say bye-bye to them. This is the beginning of the year. <laughs> yes. All right, doctor. Uh, based on what you said, God bless you so much. Um, is soya beans a bad food? Mm. Yes, we said so. Yes. Mm. If we can't drink soya milk, can we eat or add it as powder to food? For it's the same thing. It's and the same. how do you use turmeric? You, you, you blend turmeric. Okay. You blend it and then you add it either to your soup. Or you can even um, brew it as tea and drink it. Okay, for those waiting on mm. God for the fruit of whom. Hello? Hello? Good morning. All right, sir. Thank you so much for calling. Please go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay. My name is David Wabinu. I'm calling from Potakot. All right, Mr. David from Potakot. Go ahead with your question. Thank you. Yes, my question is, uh, what can parents do to assist uh, children to boost their memory? If you place that... A lot of things that egg can help, boiled egg and all that, but vegetable-wise, so what can somebody do to boost memory of children who are in school, maybe from two years? Mm. Okay, thank okay, you so thank much, you. sir. Um, vegetable and mm. boiled egg, is well, that okay? Egg can help memory, mm. but it does so many other crazy things in the child of the in the body of the child. Mm. Okay, but if you really want to just help your child's memory, um, you need to place them on supplements of ginkgo biloba. Okay, ginkgo biloba and then maybe ginseng. It will help them. Okay, yes. ginseng and, and ginkgo biloba from so. two year upwards, because he's saying two year old. Yes, yes, they, they can take the, those supplements. And then omega-3 also, omega-369, that's a fish oil supplement. It will help their brain. Mm. Yes. Mm. All right. Hello, doctor. Thank you so much. Um, okay, the doctor just answered the uh, medication. He said he want to sharpen the brains of the baby that you just called them. Okay, what age can a child start drinking tea? Any age at which they can tolerate it. Any age. Can you mix uh, turmeric and ginger to drink? Why not? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> this issue of soya beans, I think we are going to discuss this in our next edition. No one is still asking. Doctor, is soya beans good for family meal or zobo drink? Zobo is good, but not soya. Okay. Zobo is good. A two-month-old baby, can you give the baby cod liver oil? Yes. Okay. Can. Okay. In, okay. Okay. This one said, a baby is two years old and she's having a bow leg on her left leg. And the doctor said we should take cod liver oil. Yes. Sir, 
how long can we take it? Just continue it. It's a good supplement. Cold Just continue it. Yes. 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 Mm. Does honey cures ulcer and also memory of a child? Honey will worsen ulcer, not cure it. Ooh. Sweet things generally will worsen ulcer mm. and animal proteins. So mm. remove it from the, your food. Mm. Take uh, blended vegetables or juice vegetables. That way you help your ulcer. Mm. Mm. The issue of the soya mixer. <laughs> Does beetroot good for hepatitis B? Beetroot helps to, just like every other vegetable, beetroot helps you and it contains a lot of carotenoids so it's a it which are very powerful antioxidants and that help your body why not it will help hepatitis b okay the person said it's not carbonated juice but cabbage juice oh yes yes you can you can put it in the fridge yes you can okay but don't don't try attempt to do it more than one day mm. for a child Okay, this person saying all of our four children has asthma. Please, what can I do, or what should they should they eat? She's tired of spending. <laughs> he's tired of spending. I, I, I feel for her. Um, recently, we discussed asthma, and a lady walked into me recently and said, herself and her husband walked, watched that show. The man had been battling out asthma, and he practiced the things." Number one, start with these children, reduce their intake of animal proteins. Their intake of sugar and sweet things, reduce it. Mm. Give them blended vegetables or juiced vegetables, cucumber, cabbage, carrot, lettuce, mm. beetroot. Give them. You see the asthmatic attacks begin to, to really go down. So if you do that, you would have made some little progress mm. with it, yes. Mm. Can um, what the topic we're discussing uh, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer disease mm. lead to untimely death? Can one get a book? Well, eventually it kills the person. You? Eventually, mm. it kills actually. With time, the person starts to emaciate. They they can't eat again. All kinds of things, and then he usually does kill them. Mm. Mm. Since you said soya beans is not too good for expectant mothers. How about soya beans cake? Let me from Abuja. It's amazing. Well, I've really said what, what it is I, I need to say. So it's you, you know how to adapt it to your lifestyle. Okay, if I were you, I would not put soya, I would not keep soya anywhere near my family. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Okay, someone is asking how do you protect your brain? Uh, thank you so much. By Mia. taking supplements, these supplements we talked mm. about, take them mm. regularly and then don't overstress yourself. Yes, remove uh, fattened foods, foods that have plenty of fats, remove them from your, from, from your food. Yes. Please, doctor, explain further how can soya milk lead to cancer? Thank you. I think I've said it several here. Mm. It contains some estrogen mimicking substances mm. that eventually would destroy the person's um, especially in a woman would destroy that their hormonal arrangement mm. and then before you know it it can lead to breast cancer one of the things that leads to breast cancer is excess estrogen in the body mm. So th that's what that's how it will do it. Mm. Yes. Mm. So should stay away mm. from soya. So yeah. if you are a normal woman having normal estrogen levels and you keep taking um, taking um, a soya bean be, and it's giving you its own estrogen before you know you you have high estrogen levels and then it can begin to manifest as hormonal imbalance, e infertility, and also eventually as um, cancer. Okay, we'll start picking calls now, but this text was saying, how can one use turmeric? Is it by cooking? You can cook it. You can blend it, whichever way you want to use it. You can drink it as a tea. That's what we'll say. Uh, hello? All right, that's so much noise from the background. Please mute the volume on your TV set so that we can hear you uh, loud and clear. Uh, well done, sir. Please, my baby find it difficult to sleep and eat a lot of food and water. 
How old is this baby? She didn't uh, specify. Well, um, talk to experienced people around you. They will tell you what to do with the baby. There, are, there may be different reasons. You may be giving the baby what you like and what the baby doesn't like. Find out what they like, what the baby likes, and then stick with it. Yes. What are the negative effects of egg on children? Because I give my child egg daily. Don't do that. Uh -huh. Number one, obesity. There's plenty of fat everywhere. Okay, uh, that's why our children are so big and massive these days. And one of the things you are doing, you are already over, okay. over uh, working that child's heart. That's number one. And then every other uh, thing that obesity can predispose to. So don't do hex. Even if you want to do hex, maybe one or twice a, a, a week, or once a week. Okay, hex is not good food that you'll be giving to children. Even adults should never take eggs. Mm. I know some school of thoughts say people should take eggs and all that. But animal proteins, I stand where I stand. You must re remove animal proteins from your food because eventually it will destroy yourself. I told the story of a woman who started doing keto, keto dieting. Mm. And in keto they say you should eat a lot of eggs. When she had done it for like six months, that woman literally went crazy. She went berserk. She started hallucinating the uh, delusions and all that. And that's what brought her to me. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should bring the woman as uh, part of our uh, building. No, 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 no we, can't. We, we will not do that. Okay. We will not do she's, that. she's getting better. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Hmm. Oh, she, she is. But she, she, she got there because she did six months of keto eggs everywhere and she just lost it. wow i think this is a warning sign to everyone thinking mm. that keto i have a friend mm. that asked me about it mm. and i said well, in keto, they say just be taking plenty of fat foods and all that mm -hmm. where it will land you to there are many things that um fats the accumulation is responsible for in your body lumps in your breasts prostate mm. plenty of cancers all sorts of things mm. that fat in your obesity, all manners of things. Mm. Mm. Okay, thank you for this information. Uh, this person said our husband's um, <clears throat> um, is very small. What can she use to enhance the growth and the enlargement? Well, um, people have said that there are things you can use to enhance the growth of the man's. Uh, um, sexual organ but i don't think uh, there is actually it, uh, there is none so all those things are deceptions mm. however if the person is a matured man he, there's no way he can have an organ that is not fit for performance his organ will be fit for performance mm. what he needs to do is to be taught how to use it which we cannot discuss here mm. Mm. okay so i think this person should let's have dr chris williams number uh, we want to have his number, his contact to be scrolled right there for you to send a message and um, you're talking about your husband, what to do to enlarge and to, you know, make it good for performance. You can get to call Dr. Chris Williams. Is ginger and garlic good for children? Be careful with ginger because it can cause ulcer. So little ginger, but garlic is okay. Mm. Garlic is okay. Okay. Mm. Hello? Hello? Thank you so much for calling, sir. Please go ahead. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay, my name is Job. I'm calling from... My name is Job. I'm calling from Puerto Rico to my aunt to be precise. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, please, I want to ask this question. Please, can regular intake of beans, can it cause any negative effect on an adult? No, not at all. Beans. Yes. No, not at all. Regular intake of beans. No, no. Beans mm. is very good food. Mm. It's not that some people don't tolerate it, but beans is good food. Okay. This is a call from Ghana. Hello? Hello. Good morning. Thank you so much for calling. Please go ahead. Uh, tell us your name and what yes. part of Ghana are you calling from? I am Ablanda I am speaking from Accra. Mm. And my question is, I've been, I've been told I have a diabetes. Mm. So, and I'll be asked to take two eggs a day. Mm. Two? Now you are telling me that, that egg is not good. 
I'm over 60. So what do I do? Eggs per day. Two eggs per day. Yes. Maybe she they told her about the keto diet. Mm. Okay. Uh, that this will take some time. Please now listen. Now. What to do well, if you are diabetic? Number one is essentially with diabetic, it's not the food that's the problem. Okay. The problem is that your pancreas is faulty and is producing insulins that cannot work well with your cells the cells of your body mm. so that is essentially the problem so you need to work at healing your pancreas how do you heal your pancreas remove food from your life or from your eating your menu that destroy the pancreas acidic foods animal proteins sweet foods remove them from your food meat based food remove them from the from your food and then taking foods that will help to heal your body vegetable juices vegetable blends okay so you do that and then you need some other supplements bitter god will help you um there's something called blood glucose uh, mm -hmm. supplements it will help you um anything that contains um um I'm forgetting that name now. It, it will also help you. Sage, sage leaf will also help you. If you can lay your hands on fenugreek, it can help you to come out of diabetes. And then when you eat, eat in small quantities. Eat in small quantities. After you have eaten, also try to exercise. Make sure you don't eat and then you just uh, uh, sit still. Walk around so to burn it. That way you'll be able to manage your diabetes. Mm. Yes. All right. Um, our time is fast, friends, um, but this is where we just want to round off the program. And we would like to have Dr. Chris email this play right there on your TV screen. His email is contact. Please SMS or send him a quick message that you need to speak with him. And if you get to call him, please try as much as possible to just relate your situation with him or book an appointment. Uh, with Dr. Chris Williams. I want to say thank you for thank coming you. on this program just thank to tell you. us the natural way. Maybe in our next edition we'll talk more about soya beans because a lot of questions are coming up that um, you said we should not eat soya beans, you said we should not take soya milk and he has explained it from time to time that it contains a lot of uh, estrogen, right, that can lead to breast cancer in the future. So please, you are, if you're that person and you keep taking soya milk all the time, please seek very good advice very well don't just take uh, because someone said it's good for my skin you know a lot of people were found nigerians were fond of ah drink soya milk is look at my skin it's because i'm taking soya milk my skin is fine you too you go and take soya milk because as you said you didn't consult your doctor just to ask and specify or you didn't read you didn't do it to, uh, a good the, the reason it's helping the skin is because of the estrogen it's giving you you, as a woman. you see that's a good explanation mm. for you. Mm. All right, thank you, Doctor. Once again, we'll just want to round it off with a prayer for you. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you. We join our faith with your people, and we declare that this year is a year in which we'll be healthy like never before. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can like us on Facebook, get to watch our other program on um, YouTube page, a click box in there. Dope Television is at your door. Uh, step. If God has laid it in your heart to sponsor any of our program or you want to place an advert, advert on any of this program, um, Healthy Living, um, you know, some of our programs you've watched so far so good on this platform. So please call the number that is scrolling right down your TV screen. But remember, call the number and um, go ahead and tell us your product and what you want to do on any of our platform. God bless you and keep you safe. To all the camera crew in the house, I want to appreciate you. To my director over there, thank you. MCL, the engineers, everyone who has worked to put this program, make it come alive, I want to say a big thank you to you. Remember, our fasting is fast approaching, so please uh, stay connected with God at all times and remain blessed with your families in Jesus' name. Amen. I remain Olua Femi Odunto. Have a wonderful day ahead of you. Stay tuned to Dove Television for more exciting programs coming your way. Au revoir. Bye-bye. <laughs>
his power, honor, and majesty, he came down into this world of darkness and made us light. Now is the time for all.